Hello everyone, this is Adit back again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to implement a biometric in a React Native app. And uh, in biometric, we are going to especially focus on how to implement touch ID authentications. So let's get started. So here we have a empty empty project, which I just initialized it using uh, npx react native in it and all those commands uh, i hope you're already aware of that and uh, after initializing this project uh, i just cleared some of the codes and uh, this is uh, how this is this is how it looks right now we just uh, let me show you So this is how it looks right now. It just shows a hello from React Native and nothing else. I just cleared all the boilerplate code that was available over here. And uh, to add uh, Touch ID authentications, we're, first of all, we're gonna need to install this package, which is called React Native Touch ID. It also enables you to use uh, Face ID, I guess. And uh, you can s learn more about this uh, in the in their documentation of course so to implement this let's go through the docs and uh, try to implement it uh, right away and uh, first of all we're gonna need to install it in our in our project by using this command and uh, let's do that uh, npm touch, react native touch id okay just give it a second and it will install it so yeah now the package is installed and it gives some notice this is not from the package suppose yeah so now we just close it and after this we saw the app in the side as well and the first thing we're going to do is uh, import this Okay, now when we now we have uh, got the touch ID over here, and uh, after this, I just uh, use use effect. And uh, create a function over here and const handle. Okay. Inside this, we're gonna do touch ID dot. Uh, let's first of first of all check it's supported, and uh, if it's supported, only then it, it it will give us a biometric type. Okay, so. Let's go to the docs and uh, let's see more about this. And uh, we're gonna need to do a few things more. For iOS, we're gonna need to add this line. But uh, right now we're just uh, using the our uh, Android uh, application, so we don't need that. And uh, we're gonna need to add few permissions as well, like uh, this one. I just forget to add this. So let's just uh, copy this one and uh, add this in Android X, Android XML file. So inside Android app case oh, I think I forgot way to put this main and here it is Android dot XML and we're just gonna put it. This is uh, for the permission, okay. 
and uh, one more thing that we're gonna need uh, to put is uh, inside info list we're gonna add uh, this line to aid enable face id allow you to secure access to the uh, account so just uh, i haven't uh, tested this uh, uh, package for uh, face id yet uh, and uh, I, I'm just going to show you how to implement this with the touch ID only. So let's just copy this one and uh, let's go to info.plst and uh, I think I want we have to find this way at least. Uh, so we can just uh, I think this might be the info PLST, okay. And we're gonna just uh, put it over here. I think this won't to cause any problem. Just, yeah. Let's save this and uh, close this, both of them. And uh, here, and just uh, And now, after doing all those things, we're gonna just uh, use uh, uh, authenticate and uh, optional config and all those things. But uh, apart from that, we can also check if the if our phone is supported with the uh, with this uh, touch ID or and also here it is now. It's sub if you want to check for if it is supported or not, you can just do this as well. well let's just uh, let's just do this, check for supported, and, uh, and um, well, let's just uh, copy this one. I don't think there is any need of doing this. So after adding in this inside info dot pl uh, list, um, I don't know how to pronounce this pl list. <laughs> P list I guess and uh, then we're gonna just uh, check uh, if it's supported and or not so let's just uh, grab this one and uh, I think I have already copied this one over here so just uh, just do this let's copy this instead okay and I think this will uh, just put it over here. And uh, now, and one more thing that I, I would like to do is uh, to put an state over here, so it will check whether the uh, our app is authentic authenticated or not. So just. Uh, Auth or uh, set is for now. Let's just put false. And uh, first of all, let's just uh, try to run this command, and after that, we will attach this one as well. Until parametric, and uh, I think I, we are missing one more thing that is uh, to define this optional configuration and uh, that we're going to do is just uh, copy this one and uh, we're going to pass this inside uh, is supported this is how we're going to pass this and uh, here it is So config object and uh, once we save this I uh, hope we will have to see something on our screen but, uh, okay so let's just uh, we don't have to see anything for now sure and uh, let's just uh, reload our app I hope that will and uh, it yet oh okay so we forgot to execute this function
so now if we relate this so here it says touch id is supported okay so this one is uh, being uh, executed and uh, here side uh, this one this touch id is supported we're gonna put uh, touch id dot uh, authenticate and uh, so pass option config here as well and dot uh, then dot uh, then just success and uh, here and just uh, put set is auth to let's first of all just console log this uh, success so console dot log And uh, we're gonna add a catch as well in case of failure, of course. And uh, just log this for now as well. So now, uh, here on the screen, we will have to see authentication required. Okay, and uh, if we put wrong authentication, this is gonna say not recognized and uh, when we put the right authentication it will uh, disappear and uh, let's see what it we will have to get, uh, log inside our here here the, it gives success is true okay so now just uh, we're gonna put uh, say it is authenticated it's uh, it to success okay so in that way we can just uh, have to if it's already authenticated we are not we don't need to need this to be executed and uh, if uh, it is not executed sorry uh, actually and in by, uh, by using this state we can just identify if it's already authenticated then we're gonna not execute this uh, command and uh, otherwise we will do that so and in case of error or uh, in case of uh, failure we're gonna just uh, use uh, back handler dot uh, exit app this will just close the app so let's check this okay so let's just do this and uh, in case of cancel i think okay i think i should put that uh, here in case of uh, success is, is not equal to true then we can just close the app right so let's just uh, let's do that as well if uh, i think there is no need of doing that and uh, in case of uh, is uh, if is authentic then uh, turn null else we're gonna just execute this command okay we can just put uh, like this and this is how the um, biometric is used and we can change some of the values in the option configuration as well like uh, if we don't uh, want to use uh, uh, authentication required uh, or we can just use uh, something else like um, provide uh, your touch id it just uh, it just will just edit the title here it is it says now provide your touch id in the similar way we can just uh, change the image color and ima image error color as well and uh, so password and all those things can be changed and for further you can just go to through the docs once and uh, you will have to grab all those things so, okay. so this is it for this video in the next upcoming video we will talk about something else which, which i haven't decided it so this is all for uh, react native biometric i hope you like the video and if you like the video consider subscribing and uh, thank you for watching